Hi, this is Stephen Blair from Solid Angle Support, and in this video, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of the basics of setting up a license server on a macOS system. So, to start, I've already downloaded uh, the license package from support.solidangle.com, and I also have my license, and they're here in my downloads folder. So, now I just have to decide where I want to install the license server, which isn't really an install, it's just a question of extracting the file in a, the location that I want. So, I'm going to put it somewhere in my home folder. So, I'm just going to open another Finder window, and I'm going to go to my home folder, home. And I'm going to create a folder called Solid Angle. File, new folder. I'm going to call that Solid Angle. And that's where I'm going to put the license server. So I'm just going to copy my license and the license, sorry about that, and the license server package. Just going to copy those two items. And I'm going to put them in this folder. And now I'm going to just extract this uh, archive that I downloaded, .tar file. I just have to right click it and click open. I'm going to use the uh, built in extractor. So let's create a folder, Arnold License underscore Darwin. And that has the license server and an options file and the solid angle license server. So I'm just going to rename this folder. So, just a sec. I'm going to call it our RLM instead. Easier to type, easier to remember. And I just want to uh, copy my license file and put it in there. So I'm all set up now to start the license server. And to do that, I'm going to go into a terminal window. So let's open that up. So it opens in my user folder, users Stephen Blair. So CD, SOL. Press the tab key to fill in the rest, RLM, LS. So all the files are there, the ones I see in uh, the finder. So all I have to do is start the license server like that. That's the command to start it. Um, but I'd also like to uh, specify a log file. So I'm going to type dash D log. And this log file will contain everything, all the log entries that the license server outputs. So I'm going to use a plus sign because I want it to be in append mode, which means every time I restart the server, it appends to the existing mode, existing log, as opposed to overwriting it. And I just have to give it a full path. Sorry about that. Users, solid angle, no. Steven, Blair, solid angle, slash RLM, and a log file name, which I'll just call it solid angle dot log. And I'm just going to use an ampersand so that means the process will run in the background. So it started. Uh, how do I know it started? I'm going to go to my uh, web server, web browser, and I'm just going to go to the page localhost 5054. That's actually my admin administration tool for the license server. So when I started the license server over here, it started up a little web server, and it gives me this interface. So click status. I can see the server's running. There's a uh, the name of my log file, the name of my license, uh, the server status it's running. So let's just take a look at the RLM debug file. It's just all's normal. I take my word for it. Back and I can see my server is running. So if I click the solid angle button, it's going to show me I have one there. One license expires next year in August for version four of Arnold. So that's it. Just a quick overview of the basics of installing a license server. The reason it's a basic is you have to run this command every time you reboot your computer to start the license server. Uh, in a subsequent video or by going to uh, support.solidangle.com, the licensing section down here, there's uh, explains how to do it so that it always starts automatically for you. Anyway, that's it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.